Hi, this is Michael Trithart, Keller Williams Master Faculty Instructor, and I'm going to walk you through the steps on how to get your Google Analytics all set up. And the first step that you want to do is make sure that you have your GoDaddy C name in place. And that is something that you definitely can do for your e-agency website. I have another training video that is going to walk you through how to do that. It's located on my website, which is michaeltrithart.com. And if you come down here and you click on the E Agency button, you will find that video on how to get your uh, C name in place. You definitely want to do that before you do Google Analytics. The reason why is you want it tracking the correct name, which in my case is michaeltrithart.com. Now, to get a Google Analytics account, which you see the back office of this screen right here, we're going to back it up just a little bit. And what you're going to do is you're going to go in and get your free Google account. Now, if you don't already have a Google Google account, what I tell everybody in class is you just come out to Google and you Google it. How do I get a free Google account? And what it's going to do is it's not going to get you just Gmail. It's going to get you everything that Google provides to you, such as Google Maps and Translate and Earth and a lot of the other type of information that Google provides to you at no additional cost. So get that free account. Then if you come over and you go out to Google Analytics, when you click on Google Analytics and, it, and you see Google Analytics official website, if you click on that, the very first time you're going to go in, it's going to ask you to create an account. You're going to go through a lot of the yes, yes, next, next type of prompts. The key thing on this is remember to use your C name, domain name for Google Analytics. Make sure you're tracking that. And if the C name is not set up properly, Google Analytics will not work properly. So make sure you're not trying to track a name that has been masked, M-A-S-K-E-D. It needs to be set up with the C name process. Now, if I come over here and I log into my account, when I hit sign in, it's going to bring me into my account that I've already set up. But what you guys are going to do is when you set up your analytics account for the very first time, I'm going to click on admin right up here, new account. What you're going to do is you're going to go in and make sure that you put in the website name and then the website URL for your domain name and website that you want to track. Then you're going to come down here where it says industry category. There's really not one for real estate, so you can choose uh, technology or better yet, I think there's uh, business and industrial markets. You choose that. Set your time for your time zone. Set up all this information. Do you want your data to be shared with Google products only? or uh, some others. You can read the, the descriptions here. It's completely up to you. It's your personal preference where you want, want it to be shared or not shared. It doesn't mean you're going to be getting a bunch of spam. It just means it's being shared uh, data-wise, stat-wise. You're going to do all this information and then what's going to happen is you're going to get a tracking ID. Now that tracking ID is going to start with the letters UA. It's going to say UA dash and a series of letters and numbers. You're going to take that UA number, and I'll show you what it looks like here. Here's mine. My UA number, actually I'll bring it back to the screen right here. My UA number is right here, UA dash, and then I see a series of letters and numbers. That's my number. Every single one of you, you're going to have your own number. When that happens, when you get that tracking ID, you're going to come back to your e-agency website to step 2.0, 2.4, and what you're going to do is you're going to put in your Google Analytics tracking code right there. You're going to scroll down and you're going to hit save. Now once you do that, you're going to go back to analytics and there'll be a screen that'll say, do you want to verify this? You're going to click on that. And if your domain name is set up properly and you've got it plugged in on step 2.4 properly and you've saved it, when you verify it, all should be good. And what will happen is Google Analytics will start to track all of the activity to your website. So you will be able to see a 30-day snapshot of how many people have hit your site and what they're doing. So in the last 30 days, I've had over uh, 3,700 visitors, 2,300 unique visitors. They're looking at about 10 pages, staying on my website for about three minutes. A um, lot of good information that you're going to be able to glean from this. I love this. I'm, I'm averaging 50-50 pretty much on new visitors versus returning visitors. So that, that shows that there's stickiness on my website. I also like to go in and see the demographics. I want to see what location my users are coming from. So this is going to tell me that the most most of my users are coming from the U.S., but the majority of them are coming from Texas, which is my home state. But however, I get a lot of traffic from all these other states. And these are states that I've trained in in the past 
uh, year or so, especially in Georgia. I've done a lot of training in Atlanta, and you'll be able to see that, that all throughout the Atlanta area, we have all this activity happening. So it's a great tool. It's free. It tells you a ton of data about your website. Definitely get Google Analytics installed. Just make sure you do your GoDaddy C name first. Make sure you're tracking that properly. Thanks. See you guys soon.